Hey guys, it's your girl Kaylee. Welcome to my latest unboxing video. So today we're doing a haul from Scott Drake. I'm really excited to show you my new leaf springs. They're heavy duty. I'm super excited. Um, I already cut the box open, but I haven't looked inside yet. So are you ready to see what's in the box? <laughs> Ta-da! These are my leaf springs. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let them out of their restraints. C5ZZ-5560-HD. This is the tape that was taping the two springs together. And as you can see, the paint came off with the tape. So it's just bare metal right here. That's, that's really not quality to be proud of right there. Okay, these are the bushings we're going to use with our leaf springs on this little number up in the corners. What they are is graphite impregnated uh, bushings that shouldn't squeak and squawk even after years of use. We've tried drilling holes through the rubber. We are having some real difficulties with that approach, so we're going to try the blowtorch method. Go for it. Okay, do it on the metal, Kaylee. The metal all around, around the sides. All around. Just slowly work your way around 360 and just, just get the whole damn thing up. It's going to take quite a bit of heat. I like having a blow It's pretty good, isn't it? We're using propane right now. I'll switch to that gas if this is not yet hot enough. Try to be square to the, the surface. Does that, does that make sense to you? Yeah. Because if you're at a big angle to the surface, the heat just goes right by the thing you're trying to do. Whereas going straight on, I can see the heat kind of wrapping around both sides and going straight on. I get further back from it. The hottest part of the plane is right at the tip of the little roof. Right? Uh -huh. Now get closer. Closer. Stop. That's, that's like the max heat. Just for the record, we do have some <clears throat> some ventilation set up here, so we're not just breathing horrible fumes. Oh my God. There you go. Whoa, the ring's coming out. Whoa, magic. Okay, whip it up. Now hold it down. My sound effects are super helpful. spraying all these parts with brush treatment okay we just put a, a nice 
coat of gloss black paint on here. It's all still wet, actually. And we'll flip it over and finish up the spots we couldn't get tomorrow. What are we doing today? Spray painting my beef spray. Hit it in an angle like this, because see all the band, yeah. all those gaps? Well, if you're painting them, you will paint the, the easy to get stuff. You know, sort of for free. Don't go too heavy. It's not going to take very much. Just spread it all up and down with your finger. You know what's going to happen when you run that bushing on there, right? It's all going to just wipe down right to the outside. So putting a whole bunch doesn't do anything except make a mess. Make sure it's especially kind of at the start, like to help it get over that lip. Now, a thing that I wondered is if these are non-squawking, non-squeaking polygraphite bushings, why do we have to grease these, these metal parts? Why do we have to grease the bushings if they're already lubricated by, by graphite? I do not have a good answer to that. Okay, 0.562. That's how wide the shackle bolts are. My calipers are zeroed. Here we go. 0.497, and I'm actually maintaining pressure there, 0.498. These are half inch holes, and the bolts are 9 sixteenths. Now that's just not gonna work. And so what we're having to do is we're having to drill each one out with a paddle bit, and it's not cool. Um, just for the record, I tried drilling with a conventional uh, regular drill bit, and it didn't work at all. It just slid in there and just slid around. It didn't, it didn't take any of it off. So now we've switched over to using a uh, paddle bit. It's doing a better job, and the bushings work a lot easier with the benefit of the holes being drilled out. This is our second time putting these bushings on. The first time, they were so tight that we had to use a vise to push them on, and then now, even a little girl can do it. <laughs> <coughs> Auto Should mechanics for women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a ton better. This is drilled out bushings, 9 16 holes onto 9 16 bolts. There may be a slight yeah, there may be a slight variation in the size of our our holes just because some of the holes got drilled about three or four times and some got drilled once.